Just about high tide, Friday, July 14th, 75 degrees, and we had some action this morning, T-Rex. I slept through it, but apparently there was a sunrise, shower, and thunderstorm. As a matter of fact, look at this. Heather at Duxbury Beach getting the dawn lightning. We call that nocturnal convection. Thunderstorms that formed yesterday in New York and Vermont with the heavy rain, a lot of reports of hail actually held together and it even strengthened a little bit this morning near New York City and all the way to Eastern Massachusetts. Now it's gorgeous. We had that shower and thunderstorm come through here. Now this is kind of a problem. Blue sky, and it allows heating and the front is stalled right over us. We've got some Alto Cumulus Castellanus. Not that distinct, but that's when the cumulus kind of poke up at the mid-levels. It indicates a lot of instability and moisture at the mid-levels of the atmosphere, and we're gonna have more rounds of showers and thunderstorms today. The heating of the land helps percolate these showers and storms. Where and when is a really tough call. We have the big event this evening, another big event at the Blue Hill Observatory. Highlights from that yesterday's event coming up in a few seconds here. But we are definitely under the gun for severe weather again today, especially, look at the severe uh, storm guidance. Look at that line right through Blue Hill. <laughs> Just along and west of the ocean is where the threat is greatest for some potential damaging wind gusts and large hail. Fortunately, the tornado threat is not there today. Here's the rain gauge. Somebody messed with my rain gauge. Uh, 0.33. And you can tell what's in season, what the birds are eating by looking at the, uh, <laughs> the birds land on the rain gauge all the time. Interesting. Anyhow, there is the tomatoes. It's time for tomatoes to start turning red. What is Rex's problem? So showers and thunderstorms today are scattered and hit or miss, but where they hit, they're gonna hit hard. I don't think we're gonna have widespread flooding, but there is a flood watch because the ground is so saturated. And tomorrow, probably in between, let's go to the Boston three to five day. Uh, look at that dew point, the blue line in the 70s until further notice, very sticky weather. And at least we lost that uh, lightning bolt with the, uh, the triangle and the exclamation point through it. That's a light breeze actually from the north right now. So the front is actually settled right at the south coast, but it's lifting back toward the north and the wind is gonna come back in from the south today. So anytime you have a front, that's a convergence zone, a boundary between two different kinds of air and that focuses the surface convergence zone and then upper level diffluence. Hey, there goes Doug Kent. <laughs> That's the jet stream right there. Hey, Doug, what's going on? Doug's coming to the Blue Hill Observatory tonight. Uh, you actually got in out the door. Take a left. Come over here. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you can't script these things. So yeah, it's so fun to just walk around, and have friends go by while you're doing out the door weather and more. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Who's that? We've got a special guest this morning having some coffee out in the backyard with his coffee. Burke Mountain hat on. What do you got there? Yeah, Rear look, Lundstedt. Look, look at that radar. Man, it's going to town hammering right now. Southeastern New York, Connecticut. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. What's up with thunderstorms at this hour? Well, Aren't we're they talking about that front that's kind of stationary down here. I think, it's, I think that may be our future weather here coming up. Well, I think it might be helpful to have thunderstorms in the morning to stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. Yeah. Try and be optimistic. Although I do find that thunderstorms in the morning tend to weaken later in the morning, and then right. they refire up. Right. So we'll see. But uh, just enjoying the day here in Rexy Bark there. Uh, Did but, you listen to the radio this morning? <laughs> oh, yeah. The can man. Mm -hmm. All right, clip number one here at Tom's Gym. Oh, yes! 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 We got it, baby! We got it! We got it! <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. All right. That's easy one. That's, that's February 15th, uh, I think 2015, with the thunder snow. Plymouth. Um, down in Plymouth. Yeah, in Massachusetts. So that was a Massachusetts yeah. Oh, yeah. one. Yeah. I had thunder a thunder snow and everything. Like oh, yeah. And what exactly is thunder snow, Jim? It's, it's a thunderstorm. We're in the middle of a snowstorm. Wow. And it usually results in intense snowfall rates, and it's just, it's so weird because the snow is coming down so heavy, like you see the this one away. That was so funny. Yeah, and then uh, maybe try the e-foil out here. Later. The e-foil? We're going to yeah. go in the water? 
And then what's going on this evening? Why are you in town? Uh, Blue Hill under the stars, you know, for a good fundraiser for the Blue Hill Observatory. Among the stars. Among the stars. Right. We won't be under the stars. You're one of the stars. I think I think the clouds will be hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully. Are we going to get uh, any severe thunderstorms at Blue Hill this afternoon or this evening? Uh, it's looking like it. But yeah. You got the Cantori effect too. Yeah. Jim's in town. Stuff happens. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Anyhow, nice uh, view here in Boston. In the air, looks like the they're departing nine, I think. What's that? Say it again. I think they're departing nine because I, I'm just seeing a plane taking what off does that to mean, the east. Departing nine. Uh, runway nine. So nine meaning the runways you're going due east, ninety degrees. Why would they be doing that? Ah, uh, wind. So you might uh, tell us what that means. It looks like there's a light north, light north, northeast wind. So you want to go take off into the wind. So I see. Yeah. So that puts the front just south of us with those thunderstorms in Connecticut. Yeah, I think you're right. Good so that's point. not really very good news. Because yep. that front's coming back north as a warm front today. Yeah. Remember all winter when we were trying to ski? Every Thursday and Friday there was a warm front. <laughs> Do you remember oh, that? Oh, gosh. You yeah. remember that. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, uh, by the way, one other thing, uh, working in Nashville, New Hampshire, the peak heat for the summer, based on our records, was January 16th and 17th were the climatologically warmest day of the year and that's coming up in the July next week. July I'm sorry yeah, <laughs> July yes uh, we're in July I was just live television is tough sometimes <laughs> uh, oh yeah there. so we have peak heat in the next yeah. so five days today is the and 14th so the next few days are generally speaking climatologically speaking are warmest time of the year that's good intel thank you Weir. Yeah. and when are we going snow skiing again so it's six months well from actually we could go out to uh mammoth mountain right now they're still skiing i believe through july <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah and uh, i i hear australia is getting a good amount of snow this season all right uh, i'm gonna leave you with some highlights i didn't talk much about the forecast we, we get so many things going on but it, it, i'll just show you the boston 14 day uh chance of showers and thunderstorms almost every day saturday tomorrow is the pick of the weekend sunday looks pretty bad we may end up with some more flooding here in spots uh, Sunday night into Monday. And then next week, the front is still stalled here. And Jim Cantori told me the 22nd is when we're going to break this pattern. And we might oh, yeah. have some less humid and uh, a drier pattern. July 22nd. So we got eight more days of this. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I hear you that. If I'm like a Democrat or something running against the, you know, I'm the enemy. Um, but she never did. She never she did. Fair Food Fest. Yeah. Great Blue Hill. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Where you go, you take your thunderstorm with you. Yeah, where is it? Right over there. Landville. Good to see you. Good to see you. What you got there, Mr. Minzinga? Yeah. So Thomas Jefferson wore this type of shoe for his second inaugural. And they were they were actually present throughout the 19th century. So you are dressed as Thomas Jefferson would have been. No, dressed? I'm Tom. I'm 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 looking like uh, Professor Roach. <laughs> oh, Professor Roach, Professor Lawrence Roach. Albert, Al, Lawrence Abbott Roach. That's right. And what did he do? He actually founded the Blue Hill Observatory. January 31st, they took the first observation, 1885. And those were the shoes he was those wearing. The, well, those are yeah, very very similar shoes. <laughs> That's so neat. Right up there. <laughs> and right now we have Hi, you? some challenging Hi, weather getting close. Wow. Have you ever seen a tent this big on top of Blue Hill before? No. I've never seen any kind of tent on top of Blue Hill before. Well, I think that's a lightning proof uh, structural uh, rafter there. It's kind of breezy up here. I don't think it's going to gust to 180 miles an hour today, though, which is nice. Yeah, the sun's gonna get below that cloud, and there are no clouds up in upstream, so we might be uh, thunderstorm free tonight. Tomorrow night could be a different story. Threshold of a new exhibit hall. We're also excited. This before. I think we have like 140 people coming up here. It just really wouldn't have worked. But this is, I would say, a bittersweet moment, but it's all sweet for me. This has just been a wonderful year getting ready for this. This gentleman here put this over the top. 
never ever could have happened. Uh, Mish got it started and uh, she gave us just the initial amount that gave us the idea that maybe we can do this. And then all the people stepped up and more and more stepped up and literally over a hundred people uh, contributed to this. Actually 121. And 121 people. <laughs> so we're gonna do this short and sweet. Um, Wes will be time for me. Uh, if you've ever been the executive director and had a board of, of directors that can be a little bit difficult at times, you need somebody to talk to beside your spouse. <laughs> and Wes could, I, I think there was one night, it was like two and a half hours, we had a recalcitrant board member who eventually quit, thank God. Uh, <laughs> and she talked me off the ledge, not just that time, but a lot of times. Um, an absolutely beautiful, wonderful woman. Wes, please do the honor. I, uh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, How does scissors get called a pair anyway? Anyone seen Cantori and Lundstedt by any chance? In traffic. They're in the parking lot. They're ah, trying to get a shuttle up. They'll blame the weather, no doubt. Do Anyone seen Professor Roach? Yes. Do they need a pickup? <laughs> Can you go get them with your horse and buggy? I'd, I'd be happy to. <laughs> How old is this door? Is this from the 1800s? Uh, no, no. They're, mo they're modernized. Steel in the door. door. Is this the room? Is this the room? This is it? I would like to uh, offer a toast, so take something to drink with, even if it's water. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, we're done for today. We'll catch you guys next time. All right, see you later. <laughs> oh, wait. You're VIPs. A funny guy. You're a funny guy. I'm sorry. Hey, Rob. Hi, yeah. Tim. Good to see you. pretty sharp. Yeah. Well, I know I was going to sit next to you, sir, so I had to turn it up a notch or two. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's the same reason to just come up anymore, you know. I mean, I even got to work at nine. <laughs> so it's like... In Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Yes. Good to see you. Good to yeah. see you. Good to 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 is about out of memory so this is going to be it for tonight it's a beautiful night great turnout very grateful to be here talk to you again tomorrow